I'm going to prove to you something amazing. That 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus 6 plus 7 plus 8 plus 9 all the way to infinity is negative 1 over 12. Now this sounds absurd, how can it be a negative number? But uh, once you've seen the proof, uh, I'm pretty sure that you'll realise that it is minus 1 over 12. Now we start off with uh, Grandi's series, which is 1 minus 1 plus 1 minus 1 plus 1 minus 1 plus 1 minus 1 plus 1, going on to infinity. Now some people say it's 1. Validly, if you put brackets where I put the lines, uh, minus 1 plus 1 is 0. Minus 1 plus 1 is 0. So 1 plus 0 plus 0 plus 0 plus 0, all the way to infinity is of course 1. But if you put the brackets here, then the solution is 0, because 1 minus 1 is 0, 1 minus 1 is 0, 1 minus 1 is 0, so 0 plus 0 plus 0 plus 0 equals 0. But the thing is, the problem with this 1, 0 thing is you never know where to put the brackets, so you can't be sure whether it's 1 or 0. So the best answer is a half, and there are two ways of proving this. There's the flimsy method, which is what I'm going to show you now, and then the mathematical method down here. So the flimsy method is, let's say I stop at an odd point. So if I stop on the first digit, uh, that's going to be 1. If I stop on the second digit, an even number is going to be 0. Odd, 1. Even, 0. Odd, 1. Even, 0. So there's an infinite amount of 1s and an infinite amount of zeros. Therefore, it's logical to take the halfway point, which is a half. Uh, that sounds flimsy. Uh, so I'm going to show you the mathematical proof here. So let's call this series P. Okay, so we're going to do 1 minus P, so that's 1 minus the series. So it's 1 minus 1 minus 1 plus 1 minus 1 plus 1, and we're going to calculate this. Okay, so we got 1 here, and then minus 1. And then minus 1 times minus 1 is plus 1, and minus 1 times plus 1 is 1, minus 1. Minus 1 times minus 1 is plus 1, and there we go, minus 1 plus 1 minus 1 plus 1. We've gone back to Grandi's series, so we can say that 1 minus P equals p, so 1 equals 2p, so p equals a half, okay? So that's very important, we're going to use this in our next series, which is 1 minus 2 plus 3 minus 4 plus 5 minus 6 plus 7 minus 8 plus 9 minus 10 plus 11 minus 12, da -da -da -da, all the way to infinity. Uh, and what is this? Well, we're going to work it out, so we're going to call this p2. p2. Oh my god, what's going on? <laughs> p2. So uh, we got we got 1 minus 2 plus 3 minus 4 plus 5 minus 6 plus 7 minus 8. And we're going to add two of them together. So we're going to end up with 2p2. Uh, so we're not going to add them like this. We're not going to add them like this. We're going to add them like this. We're going to shift the bottom one, 1 to the right. So we're going to add these up. 1 plus 0 is 1. Minus 2 plus 1 is minus 1. 3 minus 2 is plus 1. Minus 4 plus 3 is minus 1. 5 minus 4 is plus 1. And da -da 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 -da. And as you can see, we've gone back to Grandi's series which is 1 minus 1 plus 1 minus 1 plus 1. And we know that Grandi's series is a half. So we can we can say that 2p2 equals a half, because we've added 2p2s together, and we've got Grandi's series, which is a half. So we move the 2 to the other side, we can say that p2 equals a quarter. So now we've got all we need to prove that 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 da -da 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 is minus 1 over 12. Right, we've got all we need. Okay, so we're going to say p3, which is 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus 6, okay, minus p2, which is this, 1 minus 2 plus 3 minus 4 plus 5, uh, equals what? And we're going to subtract them from each other. So p3 minus, two, mi three, p3 minus p2 equals what? So we got here 1 minus 1, which is obviously 0. But we got here 2 minus minus 2, which is 4. 3 minus 3 is 0. 4 minus minus 4 is 8. 5 minus 5 is 0. 6 minus minus 6 is 12. And we see a clear pattern emerging here. we got 4, 8, 12. So what we can do is take a factor of 4 out of this. So we got 4, bracket 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus 6 plus 7 plus 8 plus 9 plus 10, da 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 uh, Because it's 4 plus 1, and then 4 times 2, and then 4 times 3. Uh, so what we see here is that P3 minus P2 is 4 lots of P3. Because 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4, da 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 is P3. So we can say that P3 minus P2 is 4P3. But wait a minute, we know what P2 is. P2 is a quarter. So we got that P3 minus a quarter equals 4 lots of P3. Therefore, moving the P3 to the other side, we got minus a quarter equals 3P3, divide everything by 3, means that P3 equals minus 1 over 12. There we go, P3 is minus 1 over 12. So 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus 6 all the way to infinity is a negative number. Negative 1 over 12 of that. Now I know this sounds so counterintuitive, and the reason it sounds so counterintuitive is because you just want to cut the series. Like, just stop it. Just stop it at a point and add them up, right? But 
the moment you stop the series, the moment you stop the series and add up all the digits before, you you won't get minus a half, minus a, a 112. If you stop it at a Googleplex, you'll get a very big number, but it won't be minus 1 over 12. If you stop it at Graham's number, you won't get minus a 12. You'll never get minus a 12 unless a 12, unless you go 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 all the way to infinity. You have to go to infinity to get this solution. Thank you.